Hey everyone, it's Mike Benitez back for another video. Today we're doing another ship video, and today we're doing a ship video. Well, we're doing a video versus, which means we're going to have two ships versus each other in a match where I'll I'll compare uh, I'll compare the differences and similarities between these two ships. I uh, I have talked about their classes, but it's time to talk about the ships alone. We'll be talking about. My second favorite ship, the, or one of my or my, one of my first favorite ships, the RMS Lusitania, and my fifth favorite ship, and probably a ship everyone well is known, the RMS Titanic. Let's uh, let's get on to this video and let's see the similarities and differences between these two ships. First of all, let's talk about Lusitan Lusitania's first uh, uh, Lusitania's career. Her career consisted of of at least nine years, and and uh, and served from and served from nineteen o seven to nineteen fifteen. So that's about eight years. So he ser so she served about eight years. As for Titanic, well. It's easy to say that she only served for five days. Lusitania was built along with her sister Mortania to compete against the uh, to compete against the German liner Kaiser Wilhelm de Grosse, which means which means King Wilhelm the Great. Uh, she was basically the large uh, the uh, the largest ship in the world and sported four funnels. The Cunard line wanted to get a better ship and a much faster ship, and so they came out with Lusitania. Titanic, well, she was she was specifically built along with her sister Olympic and her other sister Britannic to compete against Lusitania and Mauritania. So basically, the reason for Lusitania's construction was the reason for Titanic's construction. Lusitania was built on Cla on uh, and John Te uh, and John Brown, which is the com which is the company, and uh, on the Clydebank River, and was built from 1904 to 1907. So she was built within three years. Titanic was built at Belfast, Northern Ireland, in nine uh, from 1909 to 1912. So she so she basically took three and a half le years to be built, slightly more than Lus than Lusitania. Lusitania was 787 feet long, the largest ship of her time. Titanic was 882 feet long, 800 feet longer than that of Lusitania. Lusitania's top speed was twenty eight was twenty eight knots, the fastest ship of her time. Titanic's top speed was a uh, uh, was twenty four knots, so basically she was four knots shorter than the Lusitania. Lusitania only outclassed Titanic in one thing: speed. However, there were slight differences in the way of their luxuries. Lusitania had a music room. And luscious Georgian des uh, Georgian style designs on her. Titanic's design was more uh, was more uh, was based off of several countries like Rome, etc. But she had one thing that Lusitania did not. Her first class swimming pool was the first on any ship. This made her more luxurious than Lusitania. Lusitania was built with four propellers, which was the reason for her good speed. While Titanic just had three propellers, this will make her slightly slower than Lusitania, and her central propeller will be the downfall of her. De uh, will be the downfall to Titanic. But that's for a future ship pilots video. Here is the wireless cabin aboard Lusitania. This is probably the I'm I'm pretty much the first person to actually done a video that actually shows the wireless room of Lusitania. However, Lusitania's equipment was not as good as as Titanic's equipment that she would meet uh, that she would reach at least 500 miles by wireless. Also, Lusitania didn't never had a, a gymnasium aboard like Titanic. Lusitania ran the route between Liverpool and New York. Titanic, if she had an entire career, would have run the route between Southampton to Cherbourg to Queenstown, finally to New York. Lusitania was supposed to have three funnels, but in fact had four funnels. The, the fourth funnel was just used for, vent, for uh, ventilation. Same thing went to Titanic. 
She had a, she only had a fourth funnel just to be as good looking as Lusitania. Just for style, not for any ventilation. Lusitania Titanic had a, had about sixteen compartments. Now, but but this would be her downfall that her uh, her compartments only reached as high to the wire line, not Lusitania's. But there was a slight diff there was a big difference in the bulkheads used on Titanic. And the bulkheads used on the Lusitania. The bulkheads on Titanic split split her up in the sixteen compartments, which uh, which means that if you if you were in the boiler rooms, you would have to go do a second watertight door to enter another boiler room or or any of the cargo rooms. Lusitania's bulkheads ran on the sides of the ship of the boiler room and bunkers, which protected the side the sides of the ship in case of a, a surface attack. But not from a tor- from not from a torpedo attack above, uh, for, below the waterline. Now let's talk about her their uses as a warship. Lusitania, if she if she was put in the war service before she was sunk, would have been used as a, it would have been used as an auxiliary cruiser, which was basically an ocean liner with guns on it. Two functions would have been to Titanic. She would have been an o- in a troop ship or a hospital ship, like her two sisters, Olympic, who became the ho- troop ship, and Britannic, who only served as a hospital ship before she was sunk 11 months into her career. Lusitania had a yacht design, which made her extremely fast. Titanic never had a yacht streamlined design and had a, a traditional sh- ocean liner just that design, just like her sister, Olympic. Let's talk about the, the reasons for the sinking. Titanic sank after striking an iceberg on April 14, 1912. Lusitania had a more dramatic death. She, uh, on May 7, 1915, she was torpedoed by the U-20 and was sunk by a second, much larger explosion. She, uh, it's unknown what caused that explosion. She sank within 18 minutes. Titanic's sinking was because the bulkheads didn't reach high above the waterline, and caused her demise. She sank within two hours. Lusitania, well, because of the second explosion, they did the they didn't have enough time to close all the bulkhead doors. This is what caused Lusitania's demise, and she sank within eighteen minutes. Lusitania had forty eight light belts at the time of her sinking. Titanic had sixteen regular light belts and four collapsible light belts, which meant she had a total of twenty light belts. Not even half of those aboard her on that night on May um, on April fifteenth, nineteen twelve. Luckily, all were able to get away from the ship, even though one ended up upside down. However, in Lusitania's case, many light belts were overturned or dr- or crushed people or were just smashed to pieces. On the ship, or uh, or in the water below, Lusitania's wreck is a uh, is three hundred feet down, she uh, down off the Irish coast. She uh, her superstructure is completely destroyed, and but her hull is in pretty good shape. Titanic, however, lays two mile uh, to uh, uh, two and a half miles down in the North Atlantic. She broke in two. Her bow is in pretty good shape, to be exact. As for her stern section, which broke away during during the sinking, uh, well, you could say that it's not the same condition as the ba- as the bow section. Titanic appeared in several movies. She was in James Cameron's nineteen ninety seven Titanic, the two, the the nineteen ninety six Titanic, the nineteen uh, the two thousand twelve film Titanic, Saving the Titanic. 1940, 1953 Titanic, 1943 Titanic, and the most famous of all, A Night to Remember. Lusitania was only in one movie. Lusitania, Terra, well, Terra at Sea, or the sing, uh, the sing, the singing of Lusitania, Lusitania, Murder on the Atlantic, and that movie was a bit better than 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 James Cameron's Titanic. First of all, no love story. Second of all. Very consistent with the facts. Even though Titanic appeared in more films, it's easy to say Lus- that Lusitania had a had a fair share of films, like documentaries and only one film. But I hope there's another fi- a f- another film comes out 
of the of about Lusitania. Trust me, a lot of people would go see a Lusitania movie. I mean, come on, Titanic may be famous, but come on, Lusitania was uh, kind of a more sadder story than from Ti than from Titanic. I have to admit. But now let's get on to the real question: Is Lusitania better than Titanic, or vice versa? To me. Yeah, Titanic is better than Lusitania, but Lusitania was better her at speed, and more, and she had 48 light belts, more than those on Titanic, but still sank in a shorter time and was more dramatic than Titanic. But the reason I like Lusitania more than Titanic is because of her overall history. I mean, she was a, I mean, she was like very controversial before she was sunk and after she was sunk. She, uh, she's, uh, uh, she was one, uh, she was filmed multiple times in documentaries, appeared in her own movie, and has several books about her. Titanic, pretty much the same thing, but everyone likes m her more than Lusitania, even though pretty much these two ships are the only two ships that I actually remember. Oh, uh, because Empress of Ireland, Britannic, Andrea Doria, Wilhelm Gustloff, Estonia, all those other ships, well, they're not as rememberable as Lusitania and Titanic, but at least some of them had their own films, except Andrea Doria and Empress of Ireland. But uh, that's another story. Thank you guys for enjoying this video. I am Mike Media signing out on a versus video. RMS Lusitania versus RMS Titanic. Who's better? Say in the comment sections below. I'll see you all next time in the next video. Bye.